Void detected inside the Great Pyramid Archaeologists have identified an empty cavity in Egypt's Great Pyramid, marking the first discovery of a new internal structure in over 200 years. A nearly 100-foot-long void was discovered inside the Great Pyramid in Giza, just above the 153-foot-long Grand Gallery. The void was detected using cosmic ray muons, which are high-energy particles that shower the Earth. Muons pass through empty spaces easily, but can be absorbed or deflected by dense materials like solid rock. Three different muography technologies used to measure muons in the pyramid all detected the same void in the same position. But because the technique is low resolution, it's difficult to determine the exact shape or function of the void. Researchers speculate that the void could be one large empty space, or several small ones, possibly used to relieve pressure on the chambers below. The void will need to be investigated further if we want to know what it actually is. Scientists are already considering drilling a small hole and sending in a tiny robot to hopefully get some answers. Here are more ancient discoveries. Cambodia's jungle is hiding lost ancient cities. Ancient cities with complex urban landscapes have been found beneath the jungle in Cambodia by researchers using laser scanners. Archaeologists have discovered a vast network of previously undocumented medieval cities near Cambodia's Angkor Wat Temple. Using LiDAR scanning technology, the researchers found multiple cities beneath the jungle that were linked by roads and canals. The cities range from 900 to 1,400 years old and would have been part of the largest empire on Earth in the 12th century. LiDAR is a detection system similar to radar, which uses lasers instead of radio waves. It is used with GPS to produce 3D models and maps. A helicopter mounted with LiDAR scanned a 734 square mile area near Angkor Wat in 2015. The data revealed the true scale of the lost city of Mehendraparvata, which was previously believed to be much smaller. In fact, Mehendraparvata was about the same size as Cambodia's present capital of Phnom Penh. The scans show the ancient cities had sophisticated water management systems, built hundreds of years before it was believed the technology existed. Geometric shapes thought to be gardens were also discovered. Historians say the groundbreaking discovery will help us understand more about Angkorian civilization and the decline of the Khmer Empire. Thousand-year-old monk found inside Buddha statue. In the first discovery of its kind, researchers in Amsterdam have found a mummified Chinese monk inside an ancient statue of Buddha. The nearly thousand-year-old Chinese Buddha statue was on display in the Drenthe Museum in Amsterdam. In September, the statue was moved to the Meander Medical Center for a CT scan and endoscopic testing. The CT scan revealed the remains of a mummified monk sitting in the same position as the external statue. The monk has since been identified as Master Liu Chuan, who was part of the Chinese meditation school in the 11th century. Researchers used an endoscope to examine the mummy's thoracic and abdominal cavities. They also found scraps of paper containing Chinese characters where Master Liu Chan's organs had been. The artifact, which is currently visiting Hungary, is the first Chinese mummy available for testing in the West, and it will be on display in Budapest until May. Your smartest, most insightful comments can win you $100, only at Tomonews.net. Ancient Mayan temples, more than meets the eye. A hidden third temple has been found inside the Kukulkan Pyramid, one of the world's most famous ancient structures. Researchers used a 3D scanning technique called electrical resistivity tomography to find the 10 meter tall structure inside the temple of Ku Kolkan in Yucatan, Mexico. Also known as El Castillo, the Ku Kolkan is already made up of two other temples. They consist of a 30 meter tall external structure with another 20 meter tall pyramid inside of it. It is thought that the new structures were added to cover decaying ones or to welcome new leaders. Experts believe the third newly discovered temple within was constructed between the years 550 and 800. The structure was likened to a Russian nesting doll, where you find another doll inside a larger one and so on. Except here we're talking about ancient temples hidden within ancient temples. Now how Indiana Jones is that? 
pure chance unearths Roman villa from under English farmhouse. A British rug designer just wanted to lay electric cables to his barn so that his children could play ping pong inside. But in doing so, he unearthed what may be one of the biggest Roman villas in the United Kingdom. Workmen digging at a farmhouse in southwest England last year discovered a hard layer 18 inches below the surface that turned out to be pieces of a mosaic. Property owner Luke Irwin said he sent a photo of the mosaic to the local council. He told the New York Times that within 24 hours, a team of archaeologists were on his property. Archaeologists then began an eight-day dig at the farmhouse and in the field next to the house. Only a few test pits have been dug, but archaeologists say the existing walls seem to be more than a meter tall. The farmhouse appears to be sitting on a slab of marble in the middle of what was the Roman villa, which measured around 50 meters long by 50 meters wide and was probably around three stories high. A whole range of artifacts have been found on site during the excavation, including a child's tomb, oyster shells, brooches, animal bones, and coins, indicating the owners of the villa were wealthy. Artifacts from the dig have been taken to the Salisbury Museum while the dig has been covered up until archaeologists obtain more funding to do a proper investigation. Ancient Tombs Discovered in Egypt Egyptian archaeologists have discovered ancient tombs dating back 2,000 years to the 27th dynasty and the Greco-Roman era. Three Ptolemaic tombs were recently uncovered at a dig site in Egypt's Minya province. The tombs are of a different archaeological design to the ones unearthed at the same site in 2015, which were 20 tombs in a series of ancient catacombs. The first tomb features a perpendicular burial shaft engraved in the rock which leads to a single burial chamber containing four sarcophagi and nine burial holes. The second tomb has a similar shaft but contains two chambers. To the north is the first chamber with its two sarcophagi and six burial holes, one of which was for a small child. At the end of the shaft is the second, which holds the remains of a wooden coffin. Excavation on the third tomb is still underway. Bones from the other two tombs identified men, women, and children of different ages, suggesting the site was a large city cemetery. Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities announced the discovery on their Facebook page, calling it very important and saying work is underway to reveal more secrets.